Algebra 1, number 3.1b, we're talking about the addition property of equality in this unit. I want to talk about solving with the addition property of equality. So we can turn word problems into equations and solve them using the addition property of equality. We just have to remember when we're working with word problems, we have to understand the problem and what we need to find, what it's asking of us. We need to make a plan and then find the answer. And then we need to check it, don't we? So the formal definition of the addition property of equality is for all rational numbers a, b, and c, if a and b are equal to each other, then we can add a and c together and it'll equal what b and c are together, okay? So remember to look for clue words that will help us decide which operation sign to use. Are we going to add, subtract, multiply, or divide? And remember that we can make zero pairs. This was also in video number 2.3c for this playlist. And there's going to be a link in this video for that, okay? And other videos that'll help you. If you have a positive 5 and take away a negative 5, that's going to be a 0. And if you add a negative and a positive 1, that equals 0. And it works with decimals and fractions too, okay? So let's see what we've got here. A herd of elephants grew by 15 last year to a total of 63. How many elephants were there originally? Yeah, now I know this looks like second grade math. We can just do 63, take away 15, but this is algebra one and we're trying to learn additive inverses. So what we do is we take a very simple problem that you, we know you can solve so that you can use the additive inverse and be able to use it for harder problems in the future, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for clue words and it says a total of 63. So that tells us it equals 63. And it says the elephant herd grew, so that tells us it's going to add, right? There's addition because it grew, it got bigger. So if we let E equal elephants and we write our equation, we've got E plus 15 is going to equal the 63. Now we can see that there's a positive 15 on the left side and we need to get the E alone, don't we? So we subtract 15 from each side of the equal sign that's using the additive inverse as negative 15, and we create a zero pair here, and it cancels out that positive 15. It gets the e by itself. We do 63 minus 15 on this side and get 48. The elephants, originally, there were 48 of them, and we can check it. We try plugging in the 48 to the fifth, adding it to the 15, and we get 63, and we know we did it correctly, okay? Let's take a look at this one. This one's a little different. If we have 17 minus x equals 6, this is a positive 17, so we could subtract 17 from each side of this equal sign to get that x by itself, couldn't we? So we subtract the 17 from each side, we create a zero pair here, and that ends up canceling out. Now, what's actually left, because we're actually solving for negative x, that's what's left here. Negative x equals 11 is an acceptable answer, see? Or we can just say x is equal to negative 11. So remember, this is a positive, that's a negative, and when we're adding different signs, we find the difference. The difference between 17 and 16's absolute values are is 11, and then we take the sign of the larger absolute value, that's 17, which is a negative, so we get negative 11. So we can either write it as 11 equals negative 11, I'm sorry, x equals negative 11, or we can write it as negative x equals 11, okay? Either way. All right, let's take a look at this one. As of October 9th, 2016, Joanne School had 36,930 views on YouTube for the month, for the last 28 days. On October 10th, the next day, the views grew to 40,004. How many vi video views did Joanne School get in one day? So we see that there's a word two 40,004, that tells us that this is what it grew to, this is what it's equal to. That's our equals. So we know we can put an equal 40,004 for our equation. Had 36,930 views tells us that was the original amount. So we can take this, we can let V equal the views, add the V to the 36,930, and make it equal to 40,004. See? Now we have our equation. We can use the additive inverse. Because this is a positive 36,930, we could subtract it from each side to get that v by itself 
on that side of the equal sign. This 36,930 minus 36,930 creates a zero pair. It's gone. And now all we have to do is the subtraction on this side, take away 36,930 from the 40,004, and we'll get our views. You know the trick we, for subtraction when there's a lot of zeros? We have 4, take away 0 is 4, so that's fine. But then we have 3 from this 0. So all we have to do is cross out these, turn it into a 399, and give a 1 to that 0. And now we've got 10 take away 3 is 7, 9 take away 9 is 0, 9 take away 6 is 3, 3 take away 3 is nothing, so we don't write anything there. And our answer is there were 3,074 views. That's not exactly viral videos, is it? It's not millions, but I hopefully helped with math 3,074 times, and that's, that's great for me, okay? We can check it by adding the 36,930 to the 3,074, and if it equals the 40,004, we know we did it correctly, okay? Got to make sure we check it, because we could do some bad math and make a mistake, right? All right, we're going to move on to the next unit, the next set of videos, and that's going to be 3.2a, and we're going to talk about the multiplication property of equality, okay? I'll see you there. Bye.